everyone, Arlen here. How in the world are you guys doing today? I'm gonna to start as I have been in this series, this video behind the camera so that I can reveal to you what I've plugged in with Easter at the IV table, which is this table here that you're looking at and in the kitchen. So I'm gonna take you on a little tour of what I've done. Then we're gonna come back to the island and I have a haul from three different places for you and a couple of questions. So we'll have a jam-packed fun day today here on our Lens Country Craft Corner. Anyway, <laughs> let's get started here. Uh, for those of you who don't know and have just joined me, this is what I call the ivy table. Hence named because it used to have ivy leaves painted on the front of those two doors. And uh, back in the 80s, <laughs> Chris repainted it black and kind of weathered it uh, when or distressed it, I guess you could say, when we moved in here. That was seven years ago. Somebody asked me the other day what paint he used. I asked him, and he was like, I have no idea. He does not remember. So, but anyway, he did a great job on this ivy table, and it matches all the rest of our black furniture to a T. So, let's move on over here. You can see it has a open bottom there, and I just have a few Longenberger baskets that I always keep down there. And, uh, these are the little bunnies I was talking about in Monday's video that I got from TJ Maxx. And you can see they have just a little bit of gold in their ears. I got those two, and then I got that one holding the gold egg up there. Literally, the only thing I did to enhance this decor and to bring it kind of into Easter is add some of those eggs that I've been using everywhere into that arrangement and I just took a piece of a garland and laid it across all the other florals I have in here mixed it up in there a little bit and added a little bunny here and there and there and then a gold bunny up there and that's it that's all I've done to this very subtle. This is why I'm not doing decorate with me's in this series, you guys. I mean, if you guys want to see how I decorated all of this into the blue and white, I have an entire playlist that you are welcome to go back and look through all of those decorate with me videos. But with the Easter, I'm literally just plugging it in. I'm literally just setting a few bunnies out and I just want to show you the end results. You can see I have a little blue votive, can or votive candle in there that glows blue. So I have one in that owl and another in that owl. <laughs> so the only thing new I bought for this were the bunnies. I did buy all, well, the, all of the white bunnies. So I haven't done anything with this little decor, and I don't think I will. I think it looks just fine, just like that. I love it. And let me back off from the kitchen. I know I have some new subbies. This is our kitchen. And this is one of the reasons why we built this model of home was because we fell in love with this kitchen. <laughs> and we upgraded a lot in here. We upgraded the cabinets and we upgraded the flooring all over the house, but the cabinets and the countertops and uh, a lot of extra, whatever extra money we had went into the kitchen, you know. So first thing I want to do is start over here. And I wanted to show you, I am going to do something here to show you guys how I attach my pictures to the backsplash. This is a take time to stop and smell the flowers. Little plaque I got from Hobby Lobby. And you can see I have Velcro command strips kind of <laughs> placed in haphazardly places up here and uh, they just go on whatever other things I've had up here. I had a gather sign up here and then I just had another little sign up here. So I do want to replace that sign. So I just wanted to show you how I'm going to do it this time is I'm just going to utilize a piece of this Velcro by using another piece of command strip Velcro. And I'm actually gonna attach it right on to 
that piece. Make sure it's on there good and tight. And then I'm gonna peel this off. And then I'm gonna center my picture up here the best I can here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna push it up against that Velcro tape and that is gonna hold it into place. Make sure I get it centered. That's about right. I'm just gonna push it up there and hold it there for a minute. And that is gonna hold this into place, I promise you. And there we have a nice little Easter picture. You can see I do have kind of a wide lip on my uh, granite there. So let me move this back over here. I'm not gonna do anything to that. And our napkins go there. And don't worry, be hoppy. <laughs> I'm gonna go right there. All right, so there we go. That looks cute, right there. Anyway, okay, so let's start in this corner. And uh, the only thing I added Easter-wise was that little bunny, kind of to camouflage the plug back there a little bit, best as I can do. And there's my grandma's kitchen. <laughs> and I really didn't do anything else. I'm going to have one of those in a minute. I've been having one a day. There's my girls when they were little. Aren't they cute? Oh my goodness. And moving on across here. You know, everybody needs their Keurig. I'm getting, let me go ahead and start this. Start my tea. And these are the little bunnies that Bonnie sent to me the other day. Aren't they cute? And I just did take down a, a couple of uh, Pioneer plates, Pioneer Woman plates, and I found these at Hobby Lobby. Danielle had texted me the other day and said, Arlen, do you have these at your Hobby Lobby? I said, no, we don't. So I picked up a couple of those when I went back in because they did have them yesterday. So I picked them up and they also had these eggs. So I just added the bunny, the egg, and the plate to each side window and I uh, added these two little bunnies to the middle window aren't they cute <laughs> and then I just simply just plugged in some like a kind of those uh these match the garland that I've been using but they just are they're kind of picks so there that is we are having a beautiful day in Virginia today. Look how pretty. Sun is shining. It's over 50 degrees. It's lovely. Well, Will's supposed to get up to 50 in the 50s. Here is that uh, one candle that I bought from Home Goods. I never saw this inside. Look at this. This is under the lid. Sand and Fall was born of a vision of these women who believed candles should not only smell good, but look good too. We are living proof that the California dream is alive and well. <laughs> Hoping we can bring light and happiness into your life. How sweet is that? I did not even know that was there. Trying to bring light and happiness into our lives. I think that's awesome. So I went ahead and lit that today. I didn't do anything back in the corner, Easter-wise. I think it looks pretty like that. Anyone for a Nutri-Grain bar? These are my favorite things. I have one of these a day. 130 calories. Then, remember that uh, carrot garland? I thought about adding it to the mantle, but then I decided, no, the mantle was a little bit too fancy in my mind to go. I did not want to add those, so I added them here. After all, we're in the kitchen, right? Cute. They look cute there. And then I added the Happy Easter sign I got from Hobby Lobby. And this little lady with holding a flower with her little baby. Grandchild, I dream it would be. <laughs> it is well with my soul. Love it. It is well with my soul. 
That's one of Stacy's decals. And then I just added a couple of egg towels to the front of the oven there, to the oven door. And then I just added a little bunny there. But here's where I ended up putting the big, two big lit eggs right out here on the island. I thought they, I think they look super pretty. And then again, all I did here was just add some more of that egg garland and a couple of little bunnies. They also have gold in their ears. I had these already. And here is another egg from Hobby Lobby. So, and that's all I did there. I really like that as it was. I didn't want to change it up too much and I love it. And this is me plugging in Easter, you guys. And I love doing it this way. The blue and white pairs beautifully with spring and with Easter and I'm loving it. So there we go, the Ivy table. And the kitchen review, I didn't do anything to the tops of the cabinets. They are gonna stay as is. All right, I'm gonna gather my tripod and my stuff that I wanna haul for you and my computer, and I will be right back, and we will do a little chitting and chatting. <laughs> Okie dokie, you guys, here I am in front of the camera, so let me just say hi, everyone. Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again, and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And as you've seen, I am have been up to a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Not a lot, you guys. I'm telling you, it probably took me a total of about 10 minutes to just plug in a little bit of Easter. So I have been getting a lot of feedback from you guys to say that you're really enjoying me combining the decorate, you know, the decorating and the chit chat video all into one. And I appreciate that feedback, you guys, because honestly, I have done so much decorate, so many decorate with me videos between fall, then Christmas, then putting everything back to blue and white, that it's nice for me just to show you what I've done. Now, I will put the dough bowl together with you guys. You know, we'll do that on camera. That'll be a decorate with me, you know, but that's not going to take long either, honestly. But it has been a little easier and a little nicer for me. Uh, as far as videoing is concerned, to just to be able to, you know, sit and relax and talk with you guys a little bit and, you know, show you things that I've purchased or answer your questions. I love answering your questions. Your questions are great. Thank you, guys. And I so I thank you guys so much for that feedback and for, for the positivity that you've been sending me, you know, about the way in which I've been, you know, producing my videos since I finished with my blue and white decor. I really appreciate your feedback on that. So, uh, to let you know, tomorrow Chris and I go for our second Moderna shot. So I will not be having a video tomorrow. Our, our, <laughs> our appointment is right in the middle of the day, which does not make it easy for me to do a video before or after we get back. So I will not be having a video for you tomorrow, but Friday I'll come back, as I said, with the dough bowl. So, Let's get started with this haul. How about that, huh? Let me push back my camera just a smidge. Let's start with, well, let me just start with Hobby Lobby since I was talking about that. You saw the plates in the window. You saw the little eggs in the window. And you saw the little bunnies that Bonnie got me in the window. Uh, the eggs, they, they do have, this is what I have sitting up in the window. They do have this color, you know, and these are four, I believe they're $4.99. I'm almost positive. $4.99 a piece. And of course, everything's 40% off. So these do not light up or anything. They're just, they just are decoration. But aren't they pretty? I just think they're so pretty. And they just pair so nicely with my blue and white. And, and as you saw though in my tray here, they have also, they have white with blue. And I did buy a couple, well, three of each. I bought three of each. And these will actually go in my dough bowl, I think, with that bunny. So $4.99 a piece, 40% off. But I just, I was just like, oh, hello, look at all this blue and white they have. I'm telling you, couldn't be any more perfect. Couldn't be any more perfect. So I picked up 
the three of each egg and two of the plates, two of the bunny plates. They did those bunny plates uh, that you saw on my window. Those bunnies are sitting up. They also have plates with the bunny laying down. I did not buy those plates. I just bought two plates for the windows because I knew I just wanted to replace the two, the two little salad plates that I had there of the Pioneer Woman. Also, they had these carrots. <laughs> Look at these blue and white carrots. Are you kidding me? Oh my gracious, let me open them up. Look how cute. <laughs> they are so cute. So, of course I had to get, I got two packages of these actually. I got two packages. I might go add a couple to my tray up there on the credenza. You know, and then just spatter these about, you guys. They'll be spattered out about through my decor. So I got two, two containers of those. And, and then I just picked, these were with Easter. And I was like, why are these with Easter? I don't know. But I did pick just two little, like, candle holder plates or whatever you want to call these. I don't even know. But they're considered Easter decor. So maybe they were thinking, you know, to put an egg on it and put a little candle ring around it or something like that, flower ring around it. That'd be cute. But two of these. So, and these were $9.99, of course, 40% off a piece, and they're metal. And that was it, that's all I got from Hobby Lobby. When I, you know, and I walked in there looking, oh, by the way, I walked in there, somebody, one of you guys had said that your Hobby Lobby has the uh, egg garland like I've been using at the, you know, on my mantle everywhere on this side of the house. And I, I mentioned the other day that I'm looking for it. One of you told me that your Hobby Lobby had it. My Hobby Lobby didn't have it. One of you told me that your Walmart had it. My Walmart didn't have it. I went in there. One of you told me your Home Goods had it. I know my Home Goods does not have it. I was just in there. So they don't have it either. Uh, and one of you told me that Wayfair has it. I did find it on Wayfair, but it was $30 for one garland and I wasn't willing to pay $30 for one garland. I finally, last night, I just, on a whim, I was just like, after we, cause we had run around town yesterday looking for that garland where you guys had said to look, you know, and uh, I was very distraught on when I got back because our stores did not have them, you know. So I got online and just did one more Google search and lo and behold, it's like the Lord went, okay, Arlen, I'm going to let you have this garland, you know, <laughs> and I found it at Magnolia. I'll put it up here. I'll write it up and it's Magnolia something or something. And it was for 16 or $17 for a uh, 16 something for a garland. And uh, so I ended up getting like four of them. I have no idea. They said three-day shipping, so we'll see if they'll get here that quick. I don't know. Uh, so another one of you had said that you found it on eBay for $16. I could not find it on eBay, and I'd asked her for a link, but I never got, I, I don't, I haven't checked that comment yet, but by the time I did that Google search, I hadn't had a response from her. So regardless, don't worry about giving me a link, honey, as I ordered four from this Magnolia place, and it'll be coming, I hope. Also, I saw that QVC has uh, accepted my order through PayPal for my bunnies and for my eggs, although they've not been, still not been shipped yet. They just took my money. <laughs> so I'm assuming they're going to be shipped. As a matter of fact, when I get my computer out, I will check my email and see if they haven't been shipped. But I haven't gotten a shipping confirmation from QVC yet. Anyway, just want to bring you up to date on all of that. For those of you who are new, please forgive me for giving all that information. You're probably like, what the world is she talking about? But for those of you who've been with me for the last few videos, you'll know what I'm talking about. Okay, uh, again, the, the day we went in and I for TJ Maxx and I got that bunny, but I did pick up a few other things when I was in there that day. So I just got three things. I just got three things. Check it out. Look at this. <laughs> Isn't that cute? This is Martha Stewart. And it was uh, $7.99. Love it. And I'll probably display it like this. I will probably display it like this. I'm not sure I'm in love with the raffia bow. But I could even put a little blue and white bow or something on top of that. I think I'll display it like this. It's cute. So I got that. Then I got, and, and this is, I don't know how this one smells. <laughs> but 
it doesn't smell much better. I got that other egg or whatever I got last week that was, uh, you know, potpourri, but uh, I just love the pink egg and the white bunny. And you can see the holes in the bottle. It's like a sachet up in it. Lilac and wild rose. I'm not sure if it smells quite like that. I can do away with the sachet, and but I just love the egg and the bunny. I thought it was cute, $5.99. Super cute. And they only had one of these. They had one blue one. They had a green one, I think, and they had a purple? No, not purple. I don't know. They had a few eggs like this that would light up. Lights up, it says. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Woo, it is really bright. Turn off my light here. That's pretty. So this will go somewhere. I don't know where. But, you know, as you see, things show up in my decor. I don't haul things I don't use. I don't have a plan to use, you know. So I thought that was pretty. And this was, it was $14.99. Right? Yeah, $14.99. So I got that. TJ Maxx. And then I have a little tiny Amazon haul. One of you had, um, first thing I want to show you, one of you had mentioned, asked me actually about these candlesticks from Amazon and asked me about their quality and if I liked them and da da da. And I told her, and I'll be honest with you, I had not ordered these. These were not something that I ordered, but I did love them and I thought I would you know, some of the things in my Amazon storefront I will recommend because they look nice and I think they're pretty, you know, and it looks like something similar to what I may have. But anyway, she asked me about them and I was like, well, let me tell you something. I'll go ahead and order them and I'll let you know. Well, she had already ordered them and she got them back and she said that the quality was very good and she liked them. And she, you said you had to screw something in, but the, nothing screws in on the bottom of these, of, the, of mine. I don't know what's going on with whatever you had to screw together. But anyway, mine are all one piece. Nothing screws apart, comes apart or anything. So I love them. I think one's 11 inches and one's eight inches and they're very nice. They're metal and they're kind of, you know, kind of an aged looking metal, which will be perfect for in here, you know. So probably won't see these for Easter. I will probably bring these out for, you know, another decor, but I think they're super pretty. And I love the old bronze look. That's kind of what they look. They're black but kind of bronzy too, you know? So I love that. So I got those, then, and then I got a set of these pretty eggs. Look at these. Aren't they pretty? Little speckled, like they look like robin eggs. And they are kind of a, I wanna say ceramic. So they're pretty. I might add these in with my dough bowl too, or just do them as a in one of my, um, I may use them in one of my white milk glass dishes over there on the, I think that's probably where I'll use them, over there on the credenza. But they're super pretty and they're nice. So I got those. And then one more thing, two more things actually. Uh, one more little Easter thing. Just a bunny, I couldn't resist him. I know I don't need any more bunnies, I know. I hear you, Arlen, you got another bunny. I know I did. Look at his face though. And he was not expensive at all. He's just so cute. I just think he's adorable. So I did get him. Ribbon and bunnies. I'm bad. <laughs> but I thought he was super cute. Then I saw this. Uh, this just happened to be advertised on television. And I was like, well, let me try this just for something different. This is mascara and I have it on today and I don't think I look any different than I do any other day. <laughs> uh, but I got some of this, it's uh, from L'Oreal Paris and it's mega volume. Uh, I don't know. I put a couple of coats on and there it's it's pretty good. No better than what I usually wear, but it's a lot cheaper. I believe this was only like $7 for the tube and free shipping and everything. So, Air Volume Mega Mascara. It's not it's as not smooth as my Clinique is. It's, uh, 
you know, it's all right. It's a little thicker. Let me put it that way. It's a little thicker than my mascara is that I wear every day. But it went on fine, and I'll see how it washes off, and I'll let y'all know. But anyway, cheap and, you know, pretty, pretty container, huh? Pretty tube. But I got that, and that's it. That's all I got, you guys. So I really did not get a lot. And as I said, I've had the TJ Maxx stuff here. So I was super happy to find the blue and white stuff from Hobby Lobby, though. That made my day. Oh, I'm really happy about that. All right, let me grab my computer here and see what's what. Okie dokie, you guys, I got my questions up. Oh my gosh, I only have two. Two questions. I don't need these because I blew them up. <laughs> I'm a hot mess. Okay, number one is from Nathan Turner. Uh, that's a really pretty funky bow. I love watching your videos and how you are more down to earth and honest with us about everything you do. I have a question. Does Chris enjoy helping you with your decorating or does he ever get mad when you change your mind about something that he made you? Have a good day, sweetheart Lynn. Uh, he does. He does seem to like to help me uh, set things up. He's been helping me lately set things up for my videos. When we get home from lunch, that's when I do my videos, you know, and he'll go, okay, what are, what are we doing today? <laughs> you know, and then I'll say, well, I'm, I've got a haul or I'm going to work on this. And he gets my tripod out and sometimes sets it up, make sure everything's working okay on that. Uh, today he helped me with the picture. He took down the other picture, took it out into the garage and, you know, uh, you know, he does, he seems to love to help me. He really, or like to help me. He likes to help me get set up. He's always that way though, you guys. He's always been that way. He wants to make sure I'm okay. And whatever I'm doing, I'm so grateful and feel so blessed that he is like that. You know, he just, wants to make sure I'm okay before he goes and does his thing. You know, he's outside putting around the yard right now. I don't know what he's doing out there, you know, but he's, he knows where I am. I'm safe. I'm sitting here yammering along, <laughs> you know, and he loves it that I love my YouTube channel. He loves it that I'm getting fulfilled by my YouTube channel, you know, and I think that makes him happy. And regarding, um, does he ever get, what did you say? Does he ever get mad when I change my mind about something that he made for you? No, 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 no. We don't get mad with one another, you guys. We just don't. We don't. Um, if he's, uh, first of all, I really don't remember ever getting mad or ever getting, ever wanting to change whatever he's made me. Because usually when he makes me something, he makes it to my specifications, you know, the way I ask him to make this tray. Or, and I asked him to make the bunnies. And the, that, the, that, those bunnies actually, he start, they started out about 12 inches. I said, no, I need them bigger. And then they were about 18 inches. And I said, no, I need them a little bigger. <laughs> so he kept stretching them. And no, he does not have a pattern, you guys. I'm sorry. He, he made that up himself. So, uh, so, you know, as he, before he made it, you know, we were tweaking it and stuff. But for him to get mad at me, never. No, 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 no. We just, as I said, we don't get mad with one another. I mean, of course, we get frustrated with one, one another. And everybody has the, it, those idiosyncrasies that after almost 39 years of marriage, it's like, you know, all right. All right. <laughs> you know, but everybody does that. But he doesn't get mad and I don't get mad about stuff like that. No. <laughs> Thank you for that question. And you have a good day too, for sure, Nathan. <laughs> Okay, number two is from Jody's Cozy Cottage. Hi, Lynn. I love your channel. You are so kind, sweet, and talented. Aw. Thank you for your inspiration. The egg garland is beautiful. I love your Q&A. I was wondering what inspired you to start your channel. And I had answered her back and said that I would answer it in my next video, which is this video. And she had said, oh, I look forward to it. I love decorating and crafting also, you have inspired me to give YouTube a try. Yay, it's very scary at my age. I admire your dedication and courage. Now, I don't know whether she's opened her channel yet, but I'll write it here. It's Jody's Cozy Condo Cottage. Let me let me do a quick search and see if I can find Miss Jody. She's got 26 subscribers, you guys. I've not watched any of her videos, but she looks like a sweetheart. So... Dollar Tree Craft DIY Setup, 
in a spring display DIY makeover to $1 Walmart plastic bunny. Cute. DIY painted bunnies. Go give her a try, you guys. Jody's, and I'll write it here, Jody's Cozy Cottage, and I'll put a link in the description. So you go, Jody. <laughs> I'll give you a little shout out there. Haven't seen you, haven't looked at her videos yet, but she looks lovely. Looks lovely, and it looks like she's sharing some really cute things. So give her a try. Tell her I sent you. <laughs> uh, but what inspired me to do my, uh, to start a YouTube channel? Well, I will tell you, and for those of you that have been with me for, you know, since the beginning, already know this story. So I'm sorry if it's a repeat, but I will tell it again because it is a, uh, it is a sweet story. <laughs> First, sorry, and you don't even know why I'm tearing up yet, do you? <laughs> You're like, oh, what's she tearing up about? <laughs> Uh, first one to, in, to inspire me was my daughter, Kristen. She is our oldest daughter. She's the one that's the kindergarten teacher and she is a avid YouTube watcher and a fan of a lot of folks on YouTube. And she thought I should give YouTube a try because of all my crafting and decorating and so on and so forth. And because she knows I like people and she knows, Bob, you're such a people person. You should try it. But she really kind of pushed, she had mentioned it a couple of times. But then my friend, I have a friend, her name was Liz. She was a, not Liz over there at, at Traditions by the Seasons, although she was a dear friend of mine. I love her. Beautiful Traditions by the Seasons over there at, uh, Tradi Liz over there at Traditions by the Seasons. Lovely lady, does fabulous decor, just moved into a log cabin. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful home and beautiful lady inside and out. Liz over there, Traditions by the Seasons. <laughs> uh, anyway, I digress, sorry. Uh, but my Liz was uh, actually a food uh, critic blogger. She was a chef. She was a chef. And she lived on Vancouver Island, which is Victoria, uh, over in, in uh, up in Canada. And I met her on through Facebook. We used to have Newfoundland dogs, and she did too, and we met in a group that we were in for Newfies and uh, got to know one another, and she used to tell me that she and her husband used to sit and watch my Facebook, and she said, please don't think I'm a stalker. Please don't think I'm a stalker. She was so, oh my goodness, she was so cute, but you know, she was a celebrity in her area, you know, and she said, please don't think I'm a stalker. I'm like, what are you talking about? I love you. I don't think you're a stalker, but she and her husband used to sit and watch my, uh, my Facebook. Cause I used to put up before I was doing anything, you know, with social media, I would just put them up on, put my pictures up on Facebook, you know, as I went through the seasons and she loved the way I decorated and loved my crafting and everything. And uh, she told me I had, now these are her words, you guys. These are not my words. Please don't ever think I'm saying this about myself. I am not. She said about me, she said that she thought I had a sweet voice and that I was a people person and she felt like I could touch people's lives. And I needed to start a blog, B-L-O-G, a blog. And I was like, all right, now Liz, really, uh, start a blog? Oh my word, what in the world? How am I going to describe how to make a wreath or how to decorate a room or whatever? And she's the one that helped me come up with my cozy corner name. You know, she's the one that helped me come up with that. And I ran the name Staple Pieces by her. You know, I think, is that a good, good way to put that? And she said, that's excellent, she thought. And she was a beautiful blogger. So I tried the blog. My blog is Country Craft, uh, Arlen's Country Craft Corner, just like my YouTube channel is. Uh, there's always a link up on the box or in my description if you want to go check out my blog. I don't do a lot of blogging anymore, but I do, you know, try to throw one up every now and again. I also do travel blogging, you know. So I, uh, so I started the blog and it was semi-successful. It wasn't, you know, didn't blow up on me by any stretch of the imagination, but, you know, I have some followers and it was... You know, it was fun to do. It was fun for me to do. And then after about a year or so of that, she said, okay, now you need to start a YouTube channel. This is Liz telling me this. I said, you're, you're cuckoo crazy. You're cuckoo crazy. I'm not pretty enough. I'm not talented enough. I'm not, I'm not this enough. I'm too fat. I, this and that and this and that, you know, and boy, she 
gave me her peace of mind. And she didn't do that. She was very funny and very, very sweet and very happy. And by this time, we had met in person several times. Every time Chris and I would go to Alaska, we would stop and visit. I'm sorry, you guys, I just should tell you, she contracted ALS and it took her in 18 months and she's no longer with us. But she inspired me so much, you guys. She inspired me so much. She was the most supportive, loving woman on this planet. I am telling you, she was. She never had a bad day. She never had an angry day. She was happy-go-lucky, happy sweetness and light. I, I, honestly, she was. And she did not let that disease pull her down. She really didn't. But anyway, so this was, I started my channel and the rest is history. And she said, see, I told you so. <laughs> and I said, I, I never in a million years. And I've told the story about how I put up, uh, I opened up my YouTube channel and then went on a cruise. I went to a Canada and New England cruise and got back and I had like 38 subscribers or so, 30 subscribers, something like that. And I couldn't believe it. I'm like, 30 people want to watch me. I was, I put up like a, I don't even remember what I put up, but a lantern centerpiece or something. And, you know, 30 people had subscribed. And I was like, I, I couldn't believe it. I was like, 30 people actually want to watch what I do. You know, I was blown away, you guys. But of course that inspired me to, to try and to continue on. And for those of you who are just starting out with your channels, you know, I understand how hard it is. Uh, I understand that it's uh, it's a lot of work. There's a lot more that goes on and behind the scenes with doing a YouTube channel than some of you may realize. You know, it takes me a long time to set up and then break everything down. Not to mention doing the craft. Then you edit. Then you you know you got to make thumbnails and then you you know it's crazy. So by the time I used to answer every comment back, I used to, at, when I first started my channel, I thought that was really important. And I do think it's very important for you YouTubers who are just starting out to try to answer questions, answer questions and, and, and communicate with your subscribers, uh, open up the lines of communication with them and let them know that you are, you hear them. If nothing else, heart, every, you know, uh, respond in some way, even if it's just a heart to the comment, you know, I think that's important. And I have built a good rapport with many, 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 many of you, you know, just by interacting with you through comments and stuff, you know, and I, it, that's one thing, the larger my channel gets, the less able I am to respond to comments. And that really bugs me. But by the time I get to that part of my day, I'm exhausted, you guys. I'm exhausted. I mean, it takes it, it takes a lot of energy, and I will be as, uh, I don't know how old you are, Jody, but you said at your age, and I hear you, I am, I'll be 60 this year, and things don't work quite as well as they used to when I was 50 or 40 or certainly not 30, you know? Uh, so, but anyway, Liz, Liz was, was who inspired me and my daughter, Kristen, and our daughter, Kristen. And then Candace jumped on the bandwagon too and said, yes, mom, you should do it. You know, so my family and Liz, and I considered her. I miss her so much. Huh. All right, you guys. So that, my friends, is all the questions I had. So sorry, I cried again. There we go. So that will be it for this one, you guys. I'm done uh, with all my questions and done my haul and done with my reveals. So, ah, oh my goodness, what's next? As I said, my, oh, there comes Chris in the door. Uh, but as I say, Friday will be my dough bowl. So come back for that. And then, like I said, tomorrow, say a prayer for us. Tomorrow, you know, we get our second Moderna shot. And I just wanted to say, uh, boy, I had somebody uh, rake me over the coals for mentioning that uh, Chris and I got vaccinated uh, when I told you guys that we got vaccinated. <laughs> and I ended up having to block that person because they were just, I was just, whoa, you know. So let me just say, put a disclaimer out and say, this is our personal decision. 
This is our personal decision. This is what we have chosen to do. We think it's important for us. I never would expect anybody else to get a vaccine unless it's the right thing for you to do. So please keep the negativity away. <laughs> uh, I would appreciate it. So let's say a prayer for us for tomorrow. Hopefully all will go well. And I'll let you know on Friday. Uh, if I don't come back on Friday, you probably know what's going on. <laughs> Hopefully I'll come back on Friday though with that dough bowl and all will be well. But I don't know. I don't know how it will affect. I know my dad had his second shot, never had symptom one. Kristen had her second, never had symptom one. I had a cousin, had her second one, never had symptom one. So, you know, I guess it just depends on whatever it depends on if you're going to get symptoms or not so or get side effects or not so we'll see i don't know i'll let you guys know though all right all right i'm going into my final words so <laughs> just yeah, 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 yeah. that's me let me just say thank you guys so much for stopping in here and i hope that all is well with everyone and for those of you who might be struggling or suffering the catastrophic illness or chronic pain. I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love you all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, Thanks for watching. I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.